YouTube. What's going on, boys? Hey, it's your boy Subconscious. And I'm back with another video, you guys. I got a cool little video for you, man. I hope you guys are uh, staying strong on your SR journey. I hope you guys have been putting God first. I hope that you guys have been feeling, you know, the Holy Spirit. I hope that you guys can feel the fruits of, um, or you're experiencing the fruits of putting in all this work, you guys. Look at this moon right here. How dope is that, man? It's, and it's, it's fitting for this title of this video, guys, because this is my top five weird things that happen to you on semen retention. And this is weird right here. You know, I've never seen the moon just chilling like that. So that's beautiful, man. It's, you know, set myself up for a cool little video here, guys. But let's get right into it, man. My top five... And I might have a bonus one if we uh, have uh, extra time here. But top five uh, weirdest things that happen on semen retention, okay? Uh, the first one that I have for you guys is that synchronicities are going to increase. Let me get a sip of this coffee real quick. Synchronicities, guys. So, you know, I always just look at these things like, like they're little conversations with God, you know, or God's, you know... Someone described it to me like it's a kiss from God, you know, or like a pat on the back. You know, when you're thinking about like pepperoni pizza or something, and for some reason you think of some crazy thing and then somebody walks in the room and they hand you, hey, you want some pizza? You know, like within like 30 seconds or, you know, you're thinking of somebody and then they call you, you know, right away or they text you right away or just crazy stuff, bro. You know, I had one just recently. I was thinking about this guy that, helped me um, start my landscaping business, you know, a couple years back. And I was just thinking about him and then all of a sudden my my feed on my, uh, I think it was my Instagram, it showed his page, you know, as like a sponsored thing. And I was like, is this, you know, synchronicity or is this the algorithm? And I know I didn't type anything in. So definitely some weird synchronicities going on on this pathway, you guys. And what I've noticed is that they help, uh, they, they enhance more and more and more. You know, when you go on semen retention, it's almost like that life force is getting you into a place to where like, you know, your, your spiritual connection is like way, you know, way more strong. You know what I mean? So you're able to receive these messages. And then if you pay attention, bro, if you're very self-aware, you're going to notice a lot of these happening, you know, like a couple a day, you know, sometimes it can get, it can get pretty crazy. So that's definitely one of the weird things that happens, you guys, it enhances, but you know, like I said, I look at it as god you know communicating with us you know and, and letting us know that we're on the right path that's usually how it's usually like a confirmation for me you know what i mean guys so it should be looked at as a um, a positive thing you know these synchronicities so the next one that i have for you guys is that you're able to manifest things like five to ten times quicker than usual you know and it's it's all from that uh from being on retention guys because you have all that crazy energy going on you know and you're able to transmute it like all that energy guys that you waste fapping and you know casual you know what guys that's a lot a lot of precious energy that you're wasting okay and if you transmute it and you put it into all these other areas if you apply yourself you guys you're gonna be going up you know your, your life is gonna be going up like all these different areas guys my my example for you guys is always you know so you can see the proof is that I didn't have a um, a YouTube channel you know I didn't have a podcast with my boy Martin before I went on SR right and so I manifested the, all of this stuff you know you it, it all starts in our mind you guys and then you have more energy to put in the action afterwards you know since you're transmuting all your all that energy you guys and it goes into all these different things not only that but your creative um, your creative juices are flowing, you guys, on, on semen retention. If you guys, you know, are you into any kind of, like, art? You're going to love this journey because, you know, you're way more crisp. You know, shout out to my boy Tim also. He basically, uh, he told me that. <sighs> go to t go to my boy Tim's channel, you guys, too. Ether Real. He just started a, a new channel, guys, and, and I'm going to keep shouting him out because he's one of my close buddies. But E-T-H-E-R. R-E-A-L. He just started a channel, you guys, about SR, about God, about fitness, about, you know, all types of amazing stuff, bro. He's one of my one of my best friends. Super, super smart guy, you guys. Super tapped in with God. Trust me, you're going to want to go check out his channel. But he was telling me 
that he just played a show. He plays guitar, right? And uh, he was basically telling me that he uh, was playing like really, really crisp, you know, and really on point, you know. Mental clarity was just ridiculous. So you're going to notice yourself doing things way more sharp. You know, maybe if you play sports, you're going to notice your hand-eye coordination is better. You're going to notice seeing more results, right? And that's... It's weird, bro. Like, like I play golf, you guys. I almost had a hole-in-one the other day. I've never had a hole-in-one my whole life. And, like, I was just dialed in. You know what I'm saying? Like, just locked in. You guys know how it gets. You know, sometimes on semen retention, you're, you're, you're so hyper-focused on, you know, whatever you want to get done. Guys, and then you, you combine that with uh, the uh, creativity. You take off like a rocket, bro. You really do. So, um manifesting things 10 times faster you're going to be able to if you guys are on this pathway and you're not thinking of like you know how to take over the world like how to how to plan your empire right you're you're you're, you're doing something wrong all right you guys got to be figuring out how to be building stuff on this journey this is a journey of of, of self-discovery it's a journey of getting on your mission finding out what you want to do figure out what you want to do to make money in this world bro something like that man figure out how you're going to get to the bag you guys figure out how you're going to get you know on your purpose you know provide for your family in the future all this stuff you guys sr is a tool for all of this stuff all right guys the third thing top five weird things that happen you guys you're going to be getting a ridiculous amount of respect from men and also attraction from females all right i know we all talk about this a lot there's a lot of videos you know i make some here and there for sure and then there's also people who only talk about this you know it's like the the interactions with other people and the respect that you get it's very intense sometimes you guys you know you get other guys that want to chill with you you get other guys that compliment you like out of the blue you know oh you look great you know you look good you seem like you're doing really good you know you're really cool i really love what you're doing over here i love this blah 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 you never hear the end of it bro on semen retention right i don't know if you guys can relate bro and then you also get females that are hitting you up, bro. You get females that want to chill with you. You get females who are going to be begging you to come over and basically uh, do whatever with them, right? I'm not going to say no, no crazy stuff because I don't want my channel to get flagged. But you get respect from the men, you guys, and then you get attraction from the females, you know, and they're going to want to, they're going to want to hit you up. And if you don't, uh, basically, sometimes if you say no and you reject these females, you guys. They're gonna chase you even more. That's what I've realized. You, sometimes you gotta put these girls in the friend zone. And this is another weird part. You're gonna have to friend zone a lot of women. And then they might start chasing you, bro. You know, they might start chasing you down, bro. Bounty hunter style. You know, they're gonna try to they're gonna try to get you, man. That's how it works sometimes with these certain type of females. You already know what's up. The next thing you guys. The next weird thing is called what I call uh, magnetic overflow. That's the, the fourth weird thing that I have for you guys, bro. What, what this is is that you're still going to be attracting things and you're still going to be feeling magnetic and attracting things into abundance on the days that you feel off. You know, you might be even feeling like spiritually attacked or weird, but then all of a sudden you get this tremendous blessing, you know, out of nowhere. And it's just like, what is going on? You know what I mean? Like, like you just feel weird. Like the whole day you felt, you know, you're in your head or you're anxious or you're thinking about something, this or that. You guys know how it is, man. Some days are, are rough on this journey. And uh, all of a sudden you, you notice that you get some random blessing, right? And, and the, the way that I look at that, you guys, is that like the, the piggy bank analogy that I always like to use. You know, you're, every single day that you retain, boys, you're putting in a, 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 a coin. You know what I mean? And all of a sudden your piggy bank is going to be full of spiritual money, right? So even on the days that you might feel off and you're in your head, that doesn't mean that your spiritual money is gone. It's still there. You know what I mean? So people are going to be noticing that spiritual money. And they're going to be, you know, you're going to be receiving blessings, right, in the spiritual world. You know, on the days that you feel off. That's what I've noticed, man. And sometimes those are the days where you receive the most blessings. That's what I've noticed. Like days where you're getting attacked and you're feeling weird. You end up getting blessings, bro. And you end up getting random stuff. You know, maybe some, someone will hit you up for some kind of an opportunity or a new job or some cool girl that, you know, you think is attractive or something hits you up. And, you know, now you can test those waters. Obviously, use your discernment with these females, you guys, as always. But you never know, man. 
what happens on this journey, but uh, a lot of ra random crazy stuff happens, and I've noticed that a lot of the times it's on the days where you feel kind of off, you know, and that's from putting in that, that spiritual money every day, bro. You're stacking money, you know what I'm saying? So, guys, and the, the, the fifth one here is top five weird things on Steven Attention is you receive uh, free things. <laughs> you receive free things, man. I had a buddy who, who gave me a pair of Yeezy shoes for no reason. I've had people, uh, you know, pay for my meals at, at Chipotle a couple times, and you know, at the grocery store, at Starbucks. You know, people just, I feel like there's the metaphysical side to this stuff to where people can feel your energy and then they end up wanting to give you things. You know what I'm saying? I have people just give me stuff, clothes, shoes, uh, money, you know, just randomly, bro, like blessings. You know, obviously I believe this is all from God, but, um, it's a trip, man. You just get free things from, from people, you know, on this journey. It's super weird, man. It's one of those things that's hard to explain why it happens. But uh, there's, there's tons of stuff, man. My boy, uh, Tim, he, he's, he experiences this as well. You know, my podcast partner, Martin, he, uh, I think one time he got a whole set of, like, furniture, you know, basically at his crib from one of his neighbors when right when he needed furniture. You know what I'm saying? Like, after he had been on the SR journey for a while and... You know, sometimes these things just pop up and sometimes it's the things that you need the most. You know what I mean? It's just like perfect, which is, it's two of those, two of these in one, bro. That's a synchronicity and free things at once, man. Boom. What is that, bro? God is not playing around, you guys. God is God is serious right now. He's very protective and he loves all of us, you know, on semen retention because we're obedient. You know, we're obedient and he loves us, man. So, got to keep staying strong. And got to keep uh, praising God as much as we can, you guys. And I guess I'm going to sneak this one in, man. This is the last one. This is the bonus one. The last one, man. Number six, I guess. We'll say uh, for the weird things that happen on semen retention. Old friends, old associates are going to start coming back, okay? It could be ex-girlfriends, friends, you know, anybody. And it's, it's because they feel your energy, basically. They feel your energy from... Um, Maybe it's through the phone, through your social media. Uh, it's a lot of different stuff. You know, maybe it could be the way that you're talking to them. If you speak with them on the phone, if you text with them, you know, people are going to want to end up coming back into your life, bro. You know what I mean? And it's hard to, it's hard to navigate sometimes because a lot of these people aren't uh, exactly, you know, people that you want to be with, you know what I mean? You, you cut them out of your life for a reason, and sometimes they're going to be cutting back. You're going to have to set a, a boundary with these people. You know, I've had it a lot to where, you know, people are definitely trying to come back, man. It's like that uh, Mike Jones song or whatever. You know, back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all they all want me, right? Well, now that you're doing good, now that you're feeling better, you're looking healthy, you're doing healthy things, now they want to come and, and try to leech off of your energy. But, but when you were down bad, they didn't want nothing to do with you, man. You know, they didn't want to help you. They didn't want to do nothing. So these kind of people are uh, very dangerous. A lot of them could be narcissists, you know, Agent Smith type people. So you got to be very uh, on guard with a lot of these people. So dang, this video is getting long, bro. But hopefully y'all uh, y'all got something out of this, man. Top five weird things that happen on semen retention. And uh, you already know. Nothing but love from me, man. And I'll catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace.